in a world with animals on a farm. Comes a story, Animal Farms, written by this guy. No Kevin, that's not Hitler. That is actually George Orwell, who basically takes the Russian Revolution and changed to animals. Meet old major, an old boar that is supposed to represent Karl Marx. He dies in the first chapter. Oh, and he had 400 kids in his lifetime. Meet Snowball, Trotsky's pixie who is vivacious and inventive, but still disappears after only half of the book. And finally, meet Napoleon. He's also the pig. Well, actually boring, but same thing. He doesn't do much for the first half, but basically takes over the whole plot after chapter 5. And now, welcome to Animal Farm. It's a farm with animals. And there is a, a farm, uh, a barn, a windmill, a cow shed, a story shed, a no house, a chart, and there is a um, spinning, whatever it is. And Dushan, I guess there is also Dushan too. Chapter 1 Old Major holds a meeting, and for some reason, all animals decide to listen to a bunch of ideas he got from the dream. And then they sing songs. Chapter 2 The animals get hungry, so they decide to have a rebellion. They break into the store shed and eat all the food. Mr. Jones the guy who owns the farm gets mad, so he stormed in with some men to stop them. And then they get beat up and get chased off the farm. The triumphant pigs return to check out the house and admire the architecture. Chapter 3. The animals have a good harvest and harvest a lot of things, like wheat. They also put out seven commandments, which basically become obsolete by the end of the book. Chapter 4. Mr. Jones finally realized that he got kicked out, by, kicked out of his own farm by a bunch of animals. So he returns with a bunch of men with sticks. They charge in, really destroy the animals. and proceed to get kicked off the farm again. Chapter 5 The story starts to get boring here. So Owen decides to have Napoleon overthrown Snowball. He sends out night, attack dogs, they chase Snowball away. Chapter 6 Live under Napoleon is exhilarating. The animals get to break rocks to build a windmill. which falls over. Pigs also start sleeping in the beds, which is very important to analyze. Chapter 7 Napoleon starts his purge, killing a bunch of animals.
Chapter 8 The humans realize that they actually have guns. So they storm animal farm, killed a couple animals. And that's a nice touch, blow out the window. Chapter 9. Quick note. We might have gotten about Boxer, so just pretend there is a Boxer. Boxer gets injured and sent to a hospital where he dies peacefully. Chapter 10. One day, the pigs decide to walk out on two legs because this is totally normal. The rest of the animals see them partying in the house. At this point, they basically look like humans. The end. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Bit out of Mimpa Cotton Eye Joe.